Hello! Well, it's been about 24 hours since I hurriedly posted a video all about my experience with Music Magpie. And uh, in that 24 hours, a lot has happened. So uh, grab a cup of tea, take a seat, and I'll tell you what's gone on. Roll titles! Hi, I'm Kip from KipHates.tv and uh, yeah, I've been having a bit of trouble with Music Magpie. So uh, if you didn't see the video yesterday, I'll just give you a really quick pricey of what's happened. I wanted to sell my Xbox One X, so I went to Music Magpie and put in all my details and they came up with an offer of around about £160. So I packaged up my Xbox, the controller, power cable and the HDMI lead and sent it off to them. And then uh, eventually they received it and they said uh, they weren't going to offer me the 160 pounds that they'd offered because the charging cable was missing. They were going to offer me 88 pounds instead. And I said, no. So they said, okay, we'll send it back to you. And uh, they sent it back to me. And yesterday it arrived and in the box was the Xbox and the controller. There was no power cable and there was no HDMI cable. So uh, yeah, they essentially stole my leads, which isn't the end of the world, but it is a bit frustrating because now I can't sell that Xbox to anyone else without purchasing some replacement leads. And also, they shouldn't be stealing stuff. Well anyway, I didn't just moan on YouTube about it or bitch on Twitter. I sent them an email saying, hey, I've got the Xbox back and the controller, but you haven't sent me the leads back. Not long later, I got this very helpful reply from one of their customer service team. Hi Kip, thank you for your email. We're unable to guarantee the return of any additional accessories that have been sent in with your order. This includes, but is not limited to, chargers, headphones, the original box, screen protectors, cases, etc. For further information, please consult our terms and conditions. For any further inquiries, please do contact us. I found that a bit strange. So basically, you can send them something, and if they don't offer you what they say they're going to offer you and you decline it, they can send you whatever they like back. So for example, if you've got a phone that you've looked after and loved really well, you've got the original box, you've got all the cables, you might not have even taken the cables out and it's all bundled up really nicely and you send it off to them and they say, well, there's no charging cable, even though there was, they could then just send back just the bare phone forgetting all the cables, the accessories, the nice box, etc. That seems a little unfair. So I did, as he said, and looked at the terms and conditions, and uh, here they are. Now, he didn't specifically point me at the exact area of the terms and conditions that I should be looking at, but it is uh, this part here, clause 17.1, which I think is the salient bit of information I needed. If you choose to decline the revised valuation within the grace period, then the item will be returned by our chosen courier to you at no additional cost and the item shall be dispatched the next working day. Please note that we may not always be able to re return accessories sent with your device in the case of a rejected offer. If you reject the offer, which they say is absolutely fine, their own terms and conditions basically say they can take what they like if they're classed as accessories. Now what is an accessory? I would say some, an accessory is something additional to the original product or something perhaps that isn't required for the product to work. So for example, if you've got a phone, maybe the screen protector or a case, or if you've got an Xbox and you've got one of those fancy, silly charging stands and cooling stations that are really ugly, that's an accessory. Or, you know, some kind of rubber skin for your controller, that's an accessory something that is actually fundamental to the operation of the console, in this case, a power cable and an HDMI cable, those aren't really accessories, they're part of the kit. <laughs> and while I'm ranting, please remember, do subscribe to my channel and give this video a like or a dislike, it's completely up to you. I just kind of, I thought of my mum when I was going through this, I know that sounds a bit odd, 
But my mum, she is fastidious with keeping boxes and keeping everything pristine. So just imagine her sending off her phone to Music Magpie with the box, with the charger, with the cables, with the earphones, probably not even been in her ears. And then going, oh no, oh, there's a little mark there, we're gonna have to take off 30 quid. We're gonna have to half the offer. In theory, my mum would get back a lot less than she sent them and not get the money for it either. And meanwhile, they're laughing. They've got a lovely mint box, a lovely mint set of headphones that they can use to sell alongside one of their phones that perhaps doesn't have a box or other items. It just seems mad. And uh, I ranted a bit about this on Twitter and uh, lots of people seem to think it wasn't entirely fair and right, so that's good. I didn't feel like such an asshole for complaining. But Music Magpie were very quiet. I've looked at their Twitter and quite often, People complain to them, they reply and say, slide into our DMs, we'll try and sort this out for you. But they said nothing to me. And I thought that was a bit weird. So I just kind of silently fumed and thought, sod it, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet, buy another HDMI cable, buy another power cable, and just wang it on eBay and just hope and pray that I don't get some idiot buying it off me who tries to scam me, which quite ha often happens on eBay these days. So yeah, I've been feeling a bit And I thought, right, well I'm just gonna make a video and tell you guys exactly what happened. And just before I started filming it, I had another email. Let me show you that email. Hello Kip, your review has been brought to our attention and we are very sorry to hear your experience has not been positive. I've logged a complaint within the business and your complaint reference number is Firstly, I would like to apologise that the price reduction reasoning for the Xbox One X console was not clear. We have a list of rejection reasons when grading orders on our system and a missing power cable and a missing charger are both described using the missing charger reason. We understand the confusion this has caused and we will be sure to forward this feedback to the relevant department to ensure this process is reviewed. We must also apologise if this grading was in fact incorrect. We have a very thorough process when extracting tech items from their parcels and we are saddened to hear that there may have been an oversight within our warehouse. I can see our tech extraction team have not provided us with any notes from when the parcel was received, so we will be sure to chase this with them for further investigation. I can see you have advised that both the HDMI and power cable were included in your original parcel but not returned. We do believe these were sent in good faith so we wish to rectify this for you as quickly as we can. If you are happy to do so, we would like to request for the console to be returned to us for the original quoted price. If you wish to do so, we can forward a new Royal Mail QR code over to you so the device can be returned free of charge. We are very sorry for the upset and frustration this matter has caused. We are very thankful that this has been brought to our attention and we aim to resolve this for you in a timely manner. I don't know whether that's made the situation better or worse for me. Yes, I can now send my Xbox to them, get the offer that I wanted, which is kind of what I want to do because ultimately I want the money to pay for my new Xbox. But this whole experience has just left a really nasty taste in my mouth. Would they have done this had I not bitched on YouTube and tweeted and it had picked up a bit of traction? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, they've kind of just said, oh yeah, we, yeah, you said you sent them. Um, we, we kind of believe you, but we don't have any notes or anything to back this up, so, uh, uh, okay, fine, we'll give you the money. Which is great for me, but I just think about all the other people that have gone through this. The mums of the world who have just gone, oh, okay, I'll, ju I'll just accept the offer. I must have done something wrong. Oh, no. Oh, maybe I did forget the power cable. But they made me doubt myself. They made me think, God, did am I going senile? Is there something wrong with me? Yes, there is, but not this. This... This whole experience has just been terrible. And the sheer fact that they can just throw back their terms in their face, which basically said, well, we can take it. You've agreed to our terms. We can take what we like. So long as we send you back a sort of essence of the original product, it's okay because you've agreed to this. I find that very unsatisfactory. So whilst the result has been positive for me, and uh, if I choose to send them it, I get my money. I just think of the countless other people 
that haven't been so lucky or have just not questioned it, not queried it, or not got averagely sizable social media following. I don't know. It's it's really it's really difficult because whilst it's great that they've got in touch and want to resolve it and it just doesn't it doesn't leave me with a positive music magpie experience. And I'm not the only one that similar has happened to. Loads of people have replied to the tweets and DM'd me and said, oh God, they did this to me. They did that to me. And that just makes me sad. That really does make me sad. So uh, yeah, that is the latest on this. I just, I just want the money, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> so if anyone wants to buy an Xbox One X from me, sans cables, then it's yours, 160 pounds. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but uh, yeah, I thought you all deserved an update and you all deserved a slightly better video about what's gone on. So uh, yeah, that is where we are right now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.